from the 30 odd years that I have been in Chennai, I have seen the city grow from strength to strength. From the small sleepy uh, roads that we were accustomed to, the city has grown beyond all imagination. Lately, they have announced that they are going to even, uh, the, the city limits have been extended uh, and the city is burgeoning at the seams. What are we thinking of when we are going to invite uh, the world over and tell, uh, tell them that please come to Chennai, this is the most beautiful place where you can conduct, where you can have the best medical treatment, where you can uh, have the best living conditions, with a the, with the beautiful spiritual background and everything that you would need. Live, give up your life in, in the Western world and come here. When we start to invite the world in, we have also to be aware that we need to get our infrastructure right. Because this city had been geared for only a few people. It, the way the population has grown in the past five years and the number of um, Vehicle, the amount of vehicular traffic, the place is actually bursting at the seams. On one side, we are saying our place is beautiful. On the other side, uh, we, can, we can also boast that, yes, we have the best doctors uh, in the city. We also have wonderful living conditions. And we have got little places, which we could term them as oasis, where everything is nicely packaged for people who want to spend or people who want to make their life or their business in this city. Having said that, people who come here do see that this is a place of contrast. On one hand, we have got all these well-packaged little places. On the other hand, we have got the squalor, the dirt, and very often a lack of civic consciousness by our own people. To my mind, it's not about asking the government for help at every turn. To my mind, our children, who most of us have been exposed to an international learning, are going to be facing the situation where they are going to say, why should I be coming back if I have to live in a place where I don't get basic amenities? It is true, most of our people are poor, but poverty does not mean that one has to also be uh, have a lack of civic consciousness. Even Forget poor people, what about uh, the middle class people, most of, our, most of the people who are travelling by air. A simple basic example, when you enter the city, when you land at the airport, the arrival uh, lounge, you, are immediately, you immediately get the, the feeling that this place is not so hygienic. And why is that? It's because we do not make people do things in a particular way. The, the key for all of this is to get every individual to really participate in this big problem called uh, civic sense. And that, to my mind, one has to be constrained to use a facility. There should be no other alternative. People should not be given options as to how they have to do a particular thing. If people are channelized properly, and if the infrastructure is available, I'm sure the city would be a better place. The powers that be have to decide how they are going to do it. The city planners have to decide that. And we have to definitely think whether every individual, every thinking person in this beautiful city can contribute in some way to make sure that at least their bit of the road outside and not, their, not just their house can be kept clean. A little participation by every single thinking individual and Chennai will be really the most beautiful place to live in. It could be a special paradise.